Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the amount of stuff you own? That's where minimalism comes in. It's not about living with nothing, it's about living with less. For me, minimalism has been a game changer. It's helped me to simplify my life, declutter my mind, and focus on what truly matters. In this video, I'm sharing five minimalist rules that have had the biggest impact on my life. Minimalism starts at home. Take a look around. How much stuff do you see that you don't use, need, or even like that much? We often hold on to things for sentimental value or just in case scenarios. But the truth is, all that stuff weighs us down, both physically and mentally. So where do you start? Start small. Choose one area, like a drawer, a shelf, or a corner of a room. Go through everything and be honest with yourself about what you truly need and use. If it doesn't serve a purpose, bring you joy, or hold significant value, it's time to let it go. You can donate items, sell them, or simply recycle what you can. The goal is to create a cleaner, more organized space. And as you declutter, you might be surprised at how liberating it feels. It's not just about getting rid of stuff, it's about creating space for what truly matters. Now, I know letting go can be tough. We get attached to things. But trust me, the feeling of freedom and clarity that comes with a decluttered space is worth it. Plus, you might even discover hidden gems you forgot you had. You'll start to consume more consciously, thinking twice before bringing new items into your life. This shift in mindset can have a ripple effect on other areas of your life as well. Remember, decluttering is an ongoing process. It's not a one-time event. We live in a society that often equates happiness with material possessions. We're constantly bombarded with ads telling us that we need the latest gadgets, the newest clothes, the biggest houses to be happy. But the truth is, true happiness comes from experiences, not things. Think about it. What do you remember more vividly? The time you bought that expensive watch or the time you went on an adventure with your best friends? The memories we create, the connections we make, those are the things that truly matter. Now, I'm not saying you should never buy anything ever again, but I challenge you to shift your mindset. Instead of automatically reaching for the next material item, ask yourself, will this bring me lasting joy? Or would I rather spend this money on an experience that will create memories to last a lifetime? These experiences, big or small, are what enrich our lives and make us feel truly alive. Experiences challenge us, teach us, and connect us in ways that material possessions simply can't. They push us outside of our comfort zones, broaden our perspectives, and create stories that we can share and reminisce about for years to come. Remember, life is short. Let's make the most of it by focusing on what truly matters. We live in a world of instant gratification. Want something? Order it online and have it delivered to your doorstep within hours. This ease of access has led to a culture of overconsumption. We buy things we don't need, wear clothes a handful of times before they end up forgotten at the back of our closets, and upgrade our gadgets long before they stop working. But there's a better way mindful consumption. It's about being intentional with our purchases, thinking before we buy, and asking ourselves some key questions. Do I really need this? Will this add value to my life? Mindful consumption is about breaking free from the cycle of impulse buying and making conscious choices that align with our values. It's about investing in quality over quantity, choosing items that are built to last, and supporting ethical and sustainable brands. When we become more mindful of our consumption habits, we start to appreciate what we have. We begin to value experiences over possessions, and we become more aware of the impact our choices have on the environment and the world around us. Start by identifying your spending triggers. Are you more likely to impulse buy when you're stressed, bored, or feeling down? Once you know your triggers, you can develop strategies to avoid them. Maybe it's unsubscribing from tempting email lists, taking a break from social media, or simply giving yourself a 24-hour cooling off period before making a purchase. Another helpful tip is to create a budget and track your spending. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going and help you identify areas where you can cut back. In today's digital age, it's not just our physical spaces that need decluttering. Our online lives can become just as cluttered, if not more so. We're constantly bombarded with notifications, emails, messages, and updates, all vying for our attention. This constant digital noise can be overwhelming, leading to stress, anxiety, and a decreased attention span. But just like we can declutter our homes, we can also declutter our digital lives. 
Digital minimalism is about being intentional with our technology use, minimizing distractions, and focusing on the online activities that bring us value. Start by assessing your relationship with your devices. How much time do you spend each day scrolling through social media, checking emails, or browsing the internet? Are these activities adding value to your life, or are they simply distractions? Once you have a better understanding of your digital habits, you can start setting boundaries. This could involve designating specific times for checking emails and social media, turning off notifications, or using website blockers to limit your time on distracting websites. Another important aspect of digital minimalism is curating your online space. Unsubscribe from email lists that no longer serve you, unfollow social media accounts that don't inspire you, and delete apps that you no longer use. Remember, the goal of digital minimalism is not to disconnect from technology entirely, but to use it in a way that enhances our lives rather than detracts from it. By being more mindful of our online habits, we can reduce stress, improve focus, and create more space for the things that matter most. The key is to find what works for you and create a healthy balance between your online and offline life. At its core, minimalism is about intentionality. It's about being mindful of our choices, our actions, and our impact on the world around us. It's about aligning our lives with our values and creating a life that is both fulfilling and meaningful. Intentional living starts with understanding what truly matters to us. What are our values? What are our passions? What do we want to achieve with our lives? Once we have a clear understanding of our priorities, we can start making choices that support those goals. This might involve saying no to commitments that drain our energy, pursuing hobbies that bring us joy, or spending more time with loved ones. It's about designing a life that is authentic to who we are and what we want to accomplish. Intentional living also extends to the way we interact with the world around us. It's about being mindful of our consumption habits, reducing our environmental impact, and giving back to our communities. Start by identifying areas of your life where you feel unfulfilled or out of alignment. Are you spending too much time on work and not enough time on your hobbies? Are you feeling overwhelmed by clutter and commitments? Once you've identified areas for improvement, start setting small, achievable goals. This could be as simple as decluttering one drawer a day, scheduling 30 minutes of exercise into your routine, or making a conscious effort to connect with loved ones more often. Remember, intentional living is not about striving for perfection, but about making small, consistent changes that add up over time. It's about being present in each moment, appreciating the little things, and creating a life that is both meaningful and fulfilling. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, and it looks different for everyone. So there you have it, five minimalist rules that have transformed my life. From decluttering my physical and digital spaces, to prioritizing experiences over possessions and embracing mindful consumption, these principles have helped me to simplify, focus, and create more space for what truly matters. Remember, minimalism is not about deprivation. It's about making conscious choices that align with your values and create a life that is both fulfilling and meaningful. Thank you for joining me on this journey towards a more intentional life. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on minimalism, productivity, and intentional living.